In this tutorial, we will learn how to take the fingerprint scans accurately so that we can do the accurate analysis of the fingerprint types and can use the auto ridge counting software accurately and easily to count the ridges. So first of all, before we start it, we assume that you have gone through the presentation on analyzing the fingerprint types and you are now aware that what are the core and deltas in various fingerprint types so these are some of the major fingerprints where we can see and we understand that center of fingerprint is a core and the y shape is a delta so in fingerprint type of roll there are two deltas one on the left side one on the right side and there's one core similarly in loop there is one core and one delta so now let's move to our scanning software first of all we will open our software and we will log in with our username and password now we will click on new to start a new scan once we click on new the system will ask for the folder where we want to save the details of the customer and the fingerprint scans so you have to select the path where you want to save the folder and once this pop-up comes up we'll select the directory path Your scanner must be attached when you are opening the software and once it is attached and once you click on new you are ready to take the scans so we are just waiting for system to start and configure all the system files to take the scans so now this pop up had come up we will click wherever we want to save our files so let's click on desktop we click on make new folder and we can put the name of the customer say Sumit and we'll click on ok so now the directory path will come over here we have to put the name of the customer we have to put the father's name Mother's name, gender of the customer, customer's age, address of the customer, put the email address. mobile number and additional remarks if any and we'll click on save once we click on save it will have a two options enabled one is photo and one is fingerprint if you click on photo your webcam of your laptop will get activated if it is there or of your desktop if you have a webcam attached to take the finger uh, to take the photograph customer to put it on report otherwise you can move directly to the fingerprint as well so once you click on fingerprint you have to select the hand first so we'll start with the left hand and we'll click on thumb so once you click on thumb we'll click on left and we'll put our thumb over it Now when we say left, it means that you have to incline your thumb a bit on the left side and click on left and then we will click on center, keep thumb completely straight. Now here you can see this is a good fingerprint which can be used 
to identify the fingerprint type as well as it has a core as well as delta visible so once you have aligned the fingerprint accurately we'll click on center and then we we'll click on right so once you click on right you have to align the fingerprint a bit on right side so you can see the much larger area of your thumb if you incline it a bit towards right is covered and then click on right so the fingerprints of thumb has been captured in three dimensions one bit on left side one on center and one on right so i repeat when we say left you have to align your thumb fingerprint a bit on a left side when we say center you have to put it directly straight on the scanner and we see say it's on right you have to put your thumb a bit on the right side let's click on the next finger you have to click on the finger click on left and put your finger again now you can see if i push my finger a bit towards left i can see a much larger area of the left side can be taken if I click this is the center and this is the right so if to take all the three images so let's I take on left and then I'll put my finger again center so that I can see the formation and then on right on right I can see the delta and a core it's most important so now we move to the third finger, we will click on the finger, we will click on the left and we put our finger on the scanner and we take the first scan, we put it again, we take the center part and then we put it again. Similarly, we'll take our fourth finger now in this fingerprint you can see why it is important to take left and right because it has two cores and two deltas this is the delta number one on left side and if you move our fingers towards right this is the second delta so now <clears throat> to ensure that we capture the fingerprint accurately we'll first take the left side of the fingerprint then the center you have to adjust your fingerprint so that you can try to take the maximum clear image you can move fingerprint finger uh, here and there and then take the center and at last to the right now right you have to ensure that you capture the delta here is the delta so now take on the right so now in this finger we are able to take the deltas of left and right both the sides and the center as well and here is the last fingerprint Take the left side take the center and we take the right right here is the delta so now in the same way we have to take for the right hand L means left hand and R means right hand. So now we'll take in the same way all the five fingerprints of right side. Now this is the left side image. As you can see, now we can see the delta and the core so we'll click on left and 
then we'll put our fingerprint again in a straight way click on center and bit on right side click on right so my thumb is complete we'll move to the next finger you click on the finger first it's very important you click on the finger and then you put your finger again so now this is another fingerprint type which is a target central hole which has you can see the two deltas so now it's important we capture both the deltas so we'll put our fingerprint bit on left side we'll click on left we'll put our fingerprint straight on the scanner take the formation and then put it again on the right side here we can see there is a delta now move to the next finger click on left put it again press your finger a bit hard on the scan it will come more clear center a beautiful scan it has been taken right left and center all are visible and on our right side you click on the ring finger you put our finger and here comes the left Here comes the center, both the deltas and poles are visible, and here comes the right, and our last fingerprint. We'll take the left delta. Put our fingerprint straight, center, and then we'll incline it bit towards right. So now I repeat again. We'll start with the left hand. L1 to L5 means left hand five fingers, and R1 to R5 means right hand five fingers. So we'll close it. Click on save, we close it again and we exit from the software. Now here is the folder which we created some its scans and under it you will find all the scans we have taken as well as the details which we have captured. Now all you have to do is to scan this folder uh, is to zip this folder and upload it. To our scanning portal if you want brain vision steam to do the analysis and you report otherwise you can in next step start working on analyzing these scans and counting the riches that's all for this module thank you